And... Oh, kina ba na? Ah! Okay, I'm glad you know. My name is Rob and welcome back to my channel. Hello! <laughs> so, medyo lagi ako na-awkward sa intro but ayan yun na. So, ayun na nga. Um, my today's vlog, we are going to talk a little bit about customer service and why it is important. Pero syempre, just a disclaimer kasi alam mo na, marami ako mga tropa dyan slash bashers. Alam nyo na, just a disclaimer, um, I'm not doing this or I'm not saying that I'm an expert when it comes to customer service but um, of course with my extensive experience with customer service forward slash um, sales forward slash um, technical support forward slash um, with my limited knowledge in digital marketing you know handling people enabling people you know my favorite one of my favorites or this is one of the skills that I can brag about customer service so this is really 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 important and I'm doing this blog simply because I wanted to um, you know share my knowledge with you guys especially dun sa mga kaka graduate lang or at mas pinili nila or hindi naman pinili nila yung path ng pag call center especially customer service and um of course, I just wanted to let you know that customer service is one of the hardest um, jobs on earth. Or, ayan. So without further ado, let's discuss. So what is a customer service? So in general, na lang yung pag-usapan natin. Siyempre, alam niyo naman na, or basically, um, customer service are the people or the support that helps the customers or um, they're the ones who provide a quality service to our customers. They're also the ones who um, identify problems and help the customers understand what is exactly going on with their account, with their services, with their products, or with their bills. So, at this point, we are going to talk a little bit about responses. So, meron akong mga responses in mind na gusto kong i-share sa inyo and this is not just a typical responses or we used to call that generic, yung mga generics na, generic na responses. So, I just would like to share with you um, what are the effective responses and what are the things that needs to, um, that we need to do whenever we uh, talk to an irate customer. Let's say, sa isang call. So, we have to um, make a good impression. Right? So, sinasabi nga nila, hindi ko na matandaan to, but, correct me if I'm wrong, whether it's 15 seconds or 30 seconds to make an impression over the phone. Um, and aside from that, you have to, from the moment that you pick up the phone, you have to pray first, of course. Bait-baita na naman tayo. <laughs> you have to pray first, then, of course, smile. Smile can be felt over the phone. And if you can't do it, you, you have to fake it until you make it. Okay? So, yung mga responses na gusto kong pag-aralan nyo or gusto kong matutunan nyo is, number one, syempre, yung old responses na alam natin kapag mag uh, titake tayo ng calls is, for example, ang company is, um, Emma Rob's company. Ganyan. So, ang typical na, or ang generic response natin dito is, Thank you for calling Emma Rob's company. This is Rob. How can I help? Thank you for calling Emma Rob's company. My name is Rob. How can I assist you? Right? But, this is something that I can share with you guys. So, what I like you to do is to use this um, line wherein you can just simply say, It's a great day here in Emma Rob's company. My, oh, right? Um, my name is Brittany. How can I help? Or, It's a great day here in Emma Rob's company. Um, to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? Diba? Shabby with tone of voice, proper moderation, not too fast, not too slow, proper pacing you will be able to make a good impression. So that's number one. 
Second, syempre, tapos na. Mayroon ng nag-open na, nagpakalala na introduction and then say, hi, hello, how are you doing? How's the weather? Kung gusto nyong rapport. Pero syempre, dahil may AHT tayong tinatawag or average handling time, we have to whether used it or not. Depende. Nasa discretion nyo yun. Kung feeling nyo kaya nyo or manageable sa inyo, that's good. So, from the moment na sinabi na ni customers yung concern niya or yung um, queries niya, you have to acknowledge. But this is the most crucial part actually. Hindi yung pagpo-provide ng resolution. This is the most crucial part, yung second step. You have to acknowledge it, of course. But when you acknowledge it, ito na naman yung mga common phrases or common um, responses na ginagamit natin. Sure, I can definitely help you with that. Sure, I can go ahead and assist you with that. Sure, I can definitely um, fix the problem with you. Talagang gas-gas na kasi gamit na gamit na talaga siya. But, here are the responses that I can share with you. First is, just would like to um, add this item as well. Um, in communication, of course, there is a listener and a speaker, right? Yung speaker is yung customer, and you're the listener. So, listening is really important. So, listening is a skill. It's more than hearing, okay? When you listen, you have to analyze, you have to comprehend, and you have to you know, stay focused, okay? Do not just hear, like, you just hear it, you know. You have to analyze. So that you can acknowledge and use these responses that I'm about to share with you. So, first responses. So, magiging particular tayo sa mga bagay-bagay. Let's say, for example, so, my, um, it's a great day here in Emerald's company. My name is Brittany. To whom do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? So, hi Brittany, this is this is Mary. I just wanted to know why my bill is high. Alright? So, why my bill is high? Ang response na pwede niyong sabihin is, I'm glad you called today and... Oh, na <laughs> Okay, I'm glad you called today and asked assistance about your bill. Um, this is really um, frustrating that Eng, eng, eng Eng, eng, eng Ulit So, so ayun nga Sasabihin ni customer na Hi, hi Brittany I just wanted to know why my bill is high So You, acknowledge, you will acknowledge it Hindi lang yung Sure, I can go ahead and help you with that you know, you have to be particular. particular. So, hi Mary, uh, I'm glad you called today and asked assistance about your bill and you'd like to know why your bill is high. It's really frustrating that um, you have your bill in front of you and you don't know why the bill went up. So, but don't worry, I can go ahead and um, make sure that I'll be able to explain every details with regards to your bill. Can learn. Okay? So, what, hindi man ka, ganun ka smooth kasi kinakabahan ako. Sobrang, ano lang to, impromptu and spontaneous. Ayoko na mag-practice. Dami nga, Nash! So, ayun na. So, ayun. So, you have to, it's a package, ba? It's a combination of, you listen, I mean, you, listening skills, you make them feel that they are important kasi, um, naintindihan mo kung ano yung concern nila. Tapos, nagbigay ka pa ng assurance statement, which is very powerful. Idagdag na, before I end this call, you will have this peace of mind why your bill went up. Or, I'll make sure that before I let you go, you're smiling because you have the peace of mind why your bill went up. Or, why it's high. Something to that effect. Siyempre, madami pa yan. Madaming madaming mangyayari throughout the call. Right? So... Ang mangyayari dyan is marami kang dapat iba tong questions just in case hindi lang bill yung questions niya. Let's say for example, meron siyang mga concerns about um, devices or meron siyang concerns about, you know, internet. Um, you have to ask questions. And the other um, skills 
that I can share with you is your curiosity. The ability to be curious. Kasi, if you're curious sa mga bagay-bagay, you have lots of questions, right? have to do a probing questions. But, this is not just a probing questions, guys. You have to ask an effective probing questions. Alright? So, um... Siyempre, hindi na ako magiging particular sa mga probing questions. Papahirapan nyo pa ba ako? Alam nyo na yun. Ibig sabihin, huwag na kayong magtanong, huwag na kayong um, stop beating around the bush in asking questions like, in general, you have to, you know, meron kayong targeted questions. Right? Para ma ma-layer nyo or ma-filter nyo yung pinaka tinutumbok ni customers. Ganun lang. Ayun lang. Bye. Hindi, <laughs> joke lang. Meron pa tayong tinatawag na syempre, ito yung pinaka hinahanap talaga ni customer. Yung right resolutions. Okay? So, dapat, alright, dapat, guys, kahit ano rin kasing intindi mo sa concern ni customers, kahit ano pang palamuting salita or a palamuting pangungusap pang gamitin mo, ikaw man na may pinakamagaling na acknowledgements, as, uh, powerful na assurance statements sa inyong departam, department, wala rin yung magagawa kung um, wala rin mangyayari yan kung hindi mo mapoprovide yung satisfaction to your customers. Meaning to say, you have to know your product, you have to know your services, you have to study the whole business. So, you have to do multitasking. So, while talking to the customer, syempre may computer ka naman, meron kayong mga tools, you have to put some notations. Um, especially kung hindi mo talaga kaya mag-multitask, mag-notes ka. Alright? Pero yung mga, pero ang sinasabi ko sa inyo is, kailangan nyo talagang bukas, bukas ang mga tools, you know, ito yung account ni customers, ito yung mga steps na gagawin mo para mas pulido, mas organized. So, going back, you have to know your product. You have to study the whole business. Simply because, and you have to act as an expert. Alright? So, what I'm saying is that you have to confidently and effectively um, deliver the, um, the resolutions or the right resolutions to your customers. Not, uh, hindi ka dapat nagbabasa lang. Kung meron ka na dyan sa harap mo, huwag mo lang siyang basahin. Dapat ang gawin mo is Um, act like dapat din artista ka yung parang hindi parang robotic ang, ang eksena natin so dapat ang peg mo is um, basahin mo siya naturally pero wag mabilis wag yung parang nagbabasa talaga like parang nakipag-usap ka lang sa tropa mo ganyan pero syempre professionally ganyan so ayan sa right resolution na tayo ba diba? So, ayun lang, pag na-provide mo na yon yung mga latter part, sobrang dali na, um, tatalungin mo na lang si customer. Siyempre, magre-recap ka. Um, here's what I did. Um, I have I have explained to you why your bill is high. Do you have any other questions? Or, what I did is I have successfully, uh, we just did the troubleshooting steps and it was successful. Your services is now up and running and blah, blah, blah. Then, Is there anything else that I can possibly assist you with? Because I wanted to make sure that I covered everything. So, why am I saying this is, merong mga BPO's or may mga BPO company na meron silang one call resolution kung saan yung customer kapag tumawag sa'yo, you have to make sure na hindi na sila tatawag ulit. Regardless kung same concern man or ibang concern, kailangan hindi na sila makatawag. Okay? Hindi, hindi naman sa hindi na makatawag. Kailangan hindi na sila mag call back. Alright? Kasi it will hit your metrics. Sa ibang company, may tagdan IOCR or one call resolution. Ganon. Okay? So you have to make sure. You have to um, identify if you have already resolved all the concerns of the customers. Alright? And then you can end the call. You can, um, thank you for calling Emma Rob's company. How, um, have a wonderful day. If it's good night, good night. Alright? So you also have to identify the present condition of the customer. Let's say they're traveling. Have a safe trip. Right? So, hi Rob. I wanted to know why my bill is high. I'm actually driving on the road. Can you please explain it further? So, you have to be specific. Like, um, I don't want you to get trouble driving on the road. So, ah, ito 
pa. Kung meron din kayong, uh, if you can provide something like um, a link or uh, an email, wherein they can do a self-help. You can promote that. Let's say, my website ba yung company nyo? So, um, since you're driving and I don't want you to get trouble driving on the road, you can just visit this website. Is this your email address on file? I can just send you the link. You can review it later. Mga ganon. So, simple lang. And, last is, um, you know, ayun lang, mga responses lang na gusto ko rin talagang i-share with you or sa inyo guys is, let's say, mayroong mga irate customers like, hi, I wanted to, I want to cancel my service. Like, galit na galit na. Siyempre, you have to empathize. Show them that you care. So, Hi, customer. Canceling the line is the last information that we don't like to hear from you. You know, kahit nagtatawanan kayo, at least kahit nagtatawanan kayo ng, ng colleagues mo, tapos may nareceive kang calls, I read yung agent, gusto mag-cancel, mag-pretend ka. Hi, canceling the line. Huwag kang umiyak. <laughs> canceling the line is the last information that we don't like to hear from our customers. Uh, I see that you've been with us for quite some time. Uh, I wanted to make sure that you will be able, you you will continue this service. So, yeah, ganon. Ayun lang. Tapos, let's say, can, can I speak to your supervisor? Siyempre, they can. But, you have to de-escalate pa rin. Parang call avoidance naman yon. Para sa akin, ha, merong company na, kung may, pag nag-request ng manager, Manager agad. Kasi may mga customers talaga na sobrang matitigas ang ulo. I want to speak to your supervisor. Yeah. Minsan, I want to speak to your supervisor. Tapos ang response mo, Sure, because I'm gonna kick your blank ass. Siyempre, joke lang din yan. Yung mga black Americans, I mean, I'm not, hindi naman ako nagiging, ng taong dun. Um, racist. It's just an example. So, ayun lang, that's the... Things that I can share with um, customer service kasi um, sobrang hirap niya. Um, yung pagiging customer service representative, um, sila yung point of contact ng company. Eh, company diba? Especially B2B, let's say yung customer tumawag, may napansin at hindi na contento sa pag-provide ng quality service or may napansin kapalpakan sa end natin. Um... Siyempre, yung si customer will decide to maybe cancel the service. So, maapektuhan yung revenue ng company. So, pwedeng magtanggalan. So, alam mo yun, parang domino effect lang yan. So, it, it will start from you. So, pero siyempre, ang tips ko lang is practice. Always practice naman. Hindi naman ta hindi, it cannot be done overnight, yung pagiging expert. I've been in the BPO for quite some time nga, and hindi ako expert. Ang dami kong pagkakamali, ang dami kong pagkukulang. But, what um, I'm doing right now is I'm just sharing my, you know, knowledge, my limited knowledge. So, sana may natutunan kayo, and sana um, do, tips ko lang to sa mga Uh, taong gusto talagang tahakin yung pagka-call center kasi may talagang nangangarap na maging ahente like in a, uh, na mag-work sa isang BPO company. So, um, yeah, always um, just practice makes perfect totoo yun. And, syempre, work hard um, tapos always read. Read a lot, guys. Um, and, ayun, ayun na yan. Kapag nagbasa ka, It's and you practice para sa akin ayos na yan. This is one of the hardest um, jobs sa mundo, sa planetang ito. Kaya ayon, and to be honest with you, um, I don't know how to end this vlog, but <laughs> gusto ko kasi pasukan ng konting comedy pero sige, wag na lang. So, so kung may request kayo, um, sabihin niyo lang ako kung I mean, um, leave a comment. Or, syempre, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos. And also, kung may gusto kayong pagawa sa akin. Or, kung mayroon kayong comments, suggestions, um, you can just PM me on my Facebook account. Because I'm not comfortable discussing about my, you know, errors in public. No, that's fine with me.